Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to Nopro Player. I'm Ilona and today we are playing Fay Farm. And Fay Farm is a farming game. It's a very magical and cozy and we're gonna be having a farm, making some friends, exploring and just having fun. I guess let's start. Play a game. It looks like you are new here. Let's give your world a name. Oh, great. I didn't thought about that. Uh, you cannot change your world name after this uh, step. Of course, of course. Makes sense. Hmm. I feel like I had something on my mind and yeah, I forgot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's name it Oaklands. Oaklands? Why that sounds like a real place. I wanted something with oak in it. But yeah, I, I think that's okay. Oaklands. Sounds nice. Kind of like sounds like Oklahoma to me. I don't know why. Oaklands. Oh, Oklahoma. It's okay. Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. Everything is fine. Okay. Uh, that's correct creation. Lovely. Hopefully it will not take me 10 years to do it. Uh, some body types. <laughs> Uh, let's go with the first one, like the feminine king color. Oh wow, that's a lot of colors. Wow, that's awesome. This is very nice. I can tell if I like <laughs> I don't want to take like too too long but we need to look cute right yeah I think this is okay it's not too pale, it's not too dark, it's not too pink. I think I like it. Okay, now eyes. to choose from not like crazy crazy a lot i do like those though the basic the first one eye color to go with green i'm kind of making me right and green is good i like this one. oh you can change like eyes from like I I see a color of uh red or right eye differently. That's awesome. That's something we don't see in games often. Okay, eyebrows. Okay, I think I like I like those the best. Good choice. 
my mouth. Oh. Okay, stop, stop, stop laughing. <laughs> Hmm. I think I like this one. Just a smile, beautiful smile. Hairstyles. Oh, that is quiet. Good amount. As cute that laugh is, it's starting getting a little annoying. Space buns. I don't know why I start from the end. Don't mind me. Oh, this is this is hard. Oh, this is so cute too. I, I like the braid a lot. I do love those space buns. Right there, how it looks from the back. Cute. It's so long since I was wearing space bands. Maybe I should bring it back. It's cute too. Been lately feeling <laughs> braids. Just always having two braids. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> having some like childhood moments. I think the space buns. I think the space buns. But now the big question is, do I'm gonna go with brown hair that I have now or my all-time favorite purple hair that I kind of miss having in real life? Hmm. It's cute. We cannot change our clothing right now, sadly. Um, the color of my eyebrows. Hmm. I leave it how it was. I wish there would be a slightly darker brown. Not as... Not what I'm looking for. Just leave it. Just leave it. Okay, back to this. Do I want it to be darker? No, I think I like this one. I think so. I do not like how it matches very much with the clothing we are wearing right now, but we can uh, get different clothing later in the game, I believe, so. so. That's that. Okay. No facial hair, but I think I would look very good with the mustache like that. But I think we just, this time we're gonna skip it. Facial details. Oh, like uh, marks. <gasps> oh my god, Sailor Moon vibe. <laughs> Love it. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Okay, um, there's no just freckles. this this is the vibe this is the vibe I love it so much okay, I think I like this nice bright yellow color oh Maybe should I go pink? No, 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 no. It's insane. Yes. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. 
be her. And we're gonna sound like... <laughs> We're silent. Huh. <laughs> God. Why? This is so funny. I think the first one is the best one. I kind of <laughs> like the three, but I think one, <laughs> one is them. If I would be like maybe 10 years younger, I would go with third option, but I think I'm going to stay with uh, this one. Okay. So that's, that's us. That's us. plants and I'm no pro and walking along the beach one day staring at the sand a message in a bottle invite invited me to a fair land far away land. <laughs> uh, the author described uh, an island in need one like no other and a home for the brave I was uh, it was written kind so kindly I cannot read I set off with uh, adventure in uh, my heart and the wind behind me. The voyage was danger and my boat was shattered. I clung... Clench? Clench? I clenched to the wreckage. My sail in the... Uh, tatters? Suddenly the water calmed and then I saw it. Chapter 1. Welcome to Azoria. There's something here. It's a mayor and she waves <laughs> like a queen. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Hi. Merit. The rep rep response what? Our responsible mayor of Azoria. The responsible mayor? What kind of title is that? Oh, a quest. About how you doing? My goodness, look at uh, what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name is Nopra and you found a message in a bottle? Excellent news. I was the one who threw it in the ocean. I can't believe that work. I'm a mayor merit. Uh, merit. Merit. Uh, a pleasure to meet you, your soggy self. Oh, that house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you are the only one who has uh, tried to make it to our island. How many bottles did you throw to the ocean? And I am the only one that actually came. I have questions, a lot of them. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with uh, kind and cozy friends, but... We are surrounded by whirlpools. And there, and there is a blizzard that's been uh, howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there is an active volcano that has uh, been threatened to go up. There is also the wild magic that swept through an uh, animated bunch of junk, but uh, we managed uh, to shove them all in the mine. And don't even get me started on the shed, uh, shed and thorns. Hey, shade. Yep, Azura is uh, a really par uh, a real paradise. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a paradise. Yeah, for crazy people, maybe. No, don't go. Well, can actually uh, go because of the werewolves, but uh, I can sweeten the deal. Okay, lady, better be good. I'll have uh, my... Pa pa patent welcome package sent to your house. And look, uh, a fun map uh, that shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on, check out your new home. Okay, moving in. The message in the bottle was true. A lovely farm is waiting for you here. All you have to do is uh, claim it. Discover and enter your new home. Open your welcome package. Okay, I think we can do it. 
I think we can do it. I promise you will love it here. Hey, you got a world map. Press M to view it. M it is. So we are, I guess, at the docks. Hey, that's me. Right there. And our house is uh, the hallway up there. I do love that you can see the town folks on a map. It's a really cool. And okay, I think... Oh, we can track it. How cool is this? Okay, so... So this way we shall talk with everybody later. First, let's do what the quest is telling us to do because I am a really good girl and I follow the quest. And this looks like a mess. Oh, looks like a chicken coop. Oh, and this is a big shed. There's a mail. Okay, let's enter our home. That's one of the quests and the package is in it or not? Yes, it is. Welcome to your new home. Investigate. You can press I to open your backpack and view, uh, view or use item you collected along your journey. Okay, what did I... Oh, so that was just... Okay, I got it. That was an inventory. So we just picked the inventory. Okay, I thought that was actually something bag a little plant i like it some stack of letters who lived here don't give up if a critter is hard to capture try oh, oh hello you are now here are you stalking me okay, let's talk hi again azaria said uh, the better for having you team quest what do you think uh, of your new home? Welcome kid was uh, pretty sweet, right? I knew you would love it. Azoria is the perfect place to live. Assuming you are okay with uh, magical thorns and suspicious uh, weather patterns. Why don't you try uh, giving your home its uh, uh, own name? Give it that special uh, no protach. Oh, wait a minute. So now we have to name this? I thought that the other uh, stuff was like a naming our farm type of situation. What do we name naming our home? House name. Uh, I don't. This this is too much. <laughs> this is too much. Uh, no fall. Fall oaks. Let's go with the oak. Oaklands, fall oaks. I don't I don't know what I'm naming. <laughs> like the building? Don't tell me uh, what you name it. It's just uh, between you and your farm. Okay, so we name it the farm now. I'm confused a little bit. Speaking of farm, uh, this house come with uh, one. Right here. This is the farm. Yes, okay. It, it has been... Uh, it has seen better days and will require some elbow grease. Uh, but you survived a whirlpool, so it's uh, nothing you can handle. Besides, it should, uh, shouldn't should take too long to uh, tidy up this place. Now with your own set of brand new tools. Using your tools is easy. Go, uh, go up to object and press the right tool for the job. Will, uh, use, uh, will be used automatically. Make sure to keep uh, an eye on your energy. With those uh, beginner tools, you can get all kinds of things done and uh, you can upgrade them later at uh, Cinder Smith. Cinder Smithy uh, by the dock to, t to tackle uh, tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, uh, logs, wild grass and harvesting agrola, arugola uh, from the land uh, around your home. You can keep all the materials you can gather. Okay, uh, it's true that the land around uh, your farm has been neglected. How about uh, tidying that up? You are likely to find some useful resources at the same time. Okay, harvest plant fiber, pick up stone, pick up log, uh, beach log, uh, pick up arugula. 
Okay, we can do that. Easy peasy. There's a mail. Welcome to Azoria. What is this? Welcome to Azoria, dear future friend. Once upon a time, an island called Azoria glittered like a multicolored gem in the ocean. This land was home to many friendly and hardworking souls. But life had uh, become difficult for them. Magical hard hardships had deprived them of uh, their coziness and separated them from their friends and even their homes. But uh, I, Mayor Merritt, know that someone like you can help us. Someone who wants uh, to farm, explore and have an adventure or two. Lately, even reaching our island require a treacherous journey through Turbulent seas, but a brave adventure can overcome any dangers. Will you join us in Azoria? Married the mayor. Oh, is that the... What was in the bottle? Like exactly the letter in the bottle. Pretty weird that it's in our mailbox now. Fuzzy cabin variety pack. What? No, but thank you for choosing Azoria as your new home. As a special reward, I would like to give you some presents. First of all, there is a lovely casual cozy farm outfit, casual cozy cap and straw lower face accessory, which can be equipped from the outfit section of your inventory. Oh, that's for um, pre-ordering the game, right? I totally forgot about that. There are also uh, directions from the island, or oh, decoration to, for the island and outside of your home. The farmhouse rag, garden, birdhouse and log bench can be constructed at your farm after arriving uh, uh, there during chapter 1. The farmhouse wallpaper, farmhouse flooring and animal portrait. Portrait? I think, can be crafted at the decorating table, which uh, will itself be unlocked uh, to craft as uh, you progress further. Enjoy. May merit. Mm. Okay, I totally forgot <laughs> that there was stuff for pre-ordering the game. And yes, I did pre-order the game and I know it is a little later. I'm playing than everybody else. I'm gonna wear this for now. Um, and that's because I really wanted to... I really wanted to stream... Stream the game. On YouTube. But I did have very... Um, wings. I have wings. I had a really hard time doing so, not because of the game or anything, just me. Um, I've been having like, I don't know, like anxiety about doing it. I don't know why. Organization <laughs> mirror. Oh, sweet. I don't know. I don't know why. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. I stream on Twitch every day I have no problem going live <laughs> but I do stream with my friends I do not stream by myself anymore and it's been forever since I did it by myself so maybe that's a part of it I'm just scared to do it on my own but I used to do it I used to do it. stream <laughs> so I don't know what's happening to me but I was I tried twice to go live and I just couldn't do it so that's why I finally decided that I'm just gonna start recording the game because I do really want to play it I was very excited the day the game came out I was just waiting in the morning on steam just waiting counting the hours to release and then I got the game and I was like all pumped and then sadly uh, yeah Sadly, I wasn't pumped anymore. <laughs> I was just scared of I don't know what. 
And yeah, that's why I'm recording. And I don't know, maybe down the road I will get my fear and uh, we'll stop recording and just start streaming this game. I don't know. I can't promise anything because I don't know how I'm gonna feel. It's um really weird. I don't. I don't know. It's just been a little off um for me lately, or maybe not lately, but since the break I took from YouTube and streaming and all of that content creating. It's uh, after after all of that, it just been it's not been the same, and I guess it's just like showing, at least to me, like I can like notice some stuff that uh, it's definitely different, and I do I don't like it, but it is what it is. I guess we all going through stuff in our lives, uh, but I hope uh, I will manage to overcome my. Uh, anxiety and stress and all that and start streaming on uh on youtube i, w I would like that like diversity i do prefer stream on uh, on twitch um oh. uh, only because i do stream games that i do not read and reading out loud in foreign language <laughs> still <laughs> Um, make me nervous. That's why I stream on Twitch games I usually don't have to read. Or if I play it with friends, we just don't care about reading anything. We just skip through it. But on YouTube, I do like to read. Although I do not read well sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's more stressful knowing that there are people like live and they can my struggle and then I just record it and I don't care I used to edit the pauses I made and stuff now I don't do that anymore uh, because I just feel it's that I got a little better and it's it doesn't bother me as much like I did before my like stuttering and stuff like that but it definitely does feel different on stream so um, I don't know maybe I don't know let you guys let me know if, what you guys think about that should I start streaming? Um, maybe your encourage, encourage will uh, help me more <laughs> to overcome that stress. But yeah, for now, we just playing. <laughs> Azaria is the, be uh, the better for having you. Oh, I think that's like she says that all the time now. Okay, redeem quest. Nice job. Now that you've uh, got some space cleared, how about I show you just how to use it? In order to make something, you will need to construct it yourself, but it's as easy as uh, falling down. You can build all kinds of things indoors and outdoors. Just uh, gather the raw material and then start constructing. If you don't uh, know what materials you need, just check your almanac. I told you about the almanac, right? It's like a guidebook to Azoria that uh, you fill in. Isn't that fun? Back to construction. Let's start uh, by trying to build a piece of cozy furniture indoors. You'll learn by doing. Now that you have a house, you can decorate it however you like. Start with a simple but uh, handy piece of furniture around... What? Woven stool? Woven stool? Okay, just a round stool. <laughs> Um, craft. Craft. Quest. Impression. Inventory. Almanac. Calendar. Things. Maybe you have to do it inside the house. Don't forget to regularly check your mail. The resident of Azoria loves sending letters. Oh, yeah. See. Decorate. Was I supposed to build something? Really a little confused. Frame wallpaper. Should I have a wallpaper or is something I can craft, right? Hmm. 
move place replaced. Okay, there's nothing here. Wait a minute, what's the quest again? Uh, you have how you can decorate it however you like. Start with a simple but handy piece of furniture around. Craft and place round stool inside your home. Craft. Okay. Craft. Where do I craft? We have a workbench somewhere. Chicky Coopy. A well. Berries. Packleberries. We'll take it. I like the sound effect. So cute. Put all our inventory, like, uh, excuse me, how do I craft? <laughs> Almanac? Okay, tool and crafting, I guess, here. Tools. Okay. I can craft a cooking fire, but that's not what she asked for. Construction. Oh, here. Okay, I cannot craft it. Okay, sh do I do it inside of the house? Okay, a little confusion. So, almanac construction. I am so confused right now. Guess I need to know. Select. Oh my god. What's happening? <laughs> Back. Do I need a bench? I do have plant fiber that I need. Okay, I am feeling really, really silly right now. We can do the recipe for that. But I have no idea how to craft this. Okay, to the Google. Okay, so it says go to the homestead and press C and C again. There you go. And now you can craft. Thank you, Google. I'll put this right here. Okay, and that gave us a little bit. You here. So our house of coziness. And every item will uh, give us something extra. Mana increases energy and health. Very nice. Okay, I wish that would be easier to navigate. I didn't know yet to press it twice. I wish the game told you that. But it's okay. We figure it out. Uh -oh. Uncle Google is always ready to help. Thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you will stay a long time. It's like you've been doing this your whole life. No, pro, really, I am impressed. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you uh, set up your farm is up to you. Oh, and we've already built uh, your mailbox. Miles, Miles uh, the postman, will deliver your letter and packages first thing in the morning, so don't forget to check your mail. Oh, I know uh, what you should uh, build next. A cooking fire. Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up uh, a hot meal. You can always make uh, fan fancier equipment later. There is all kinds of things you could cook and you, uh, your cooking fire... And your cooking fire. I've seen some arugula around, but there is mussels on the beach too. 
Try being a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Okay, try making yourself a cooking fire and cooking yourself a yummy snack. It's best to have some food in your backpack before heading out. Okay, accept the quest and now we know how to do it. Okay, there is no... I cannot press C here. Okay. I think we seen the campfire. Okay, I'm about to lose my mind. Kill parts. Oh, okay, this is nothing we wanna deal with now. I am okay. Never mind. I wasn't far enough. You cannot be standing on the pathway, I guess. Okay, we got this. Small steps. Uh, where do we want the cooking fire to be? I will assume we can move it later, so let's put it here for now. Hope we're not gonna set that tree on fire. Or maybe on this side, a little closer. Okay, and now... Use. Does it specifically said what I we would we supposed to cook or no? Oh, so roll gives you five stamina. Cook one gives you fifteen. Nice. Okay. Uh, two and seven. Okay, not that great, but we're gonna make it on the beginning. Right, everything is better than nothing. Collect all. Okay. Oh, I like that they're just going while we're not really attending to it. You have your round. Let me see what uh, you cook now, pro. Bravo, you see, uh, with a cooking fire you can uh, roast and uh, toast to your heart content. Home cooked uh, food always tastes better, I say. I say the same. Cooked food gives you more energy than raw and sells uh, for more money uh, at the market too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can uh, be transformed into a tasty treat. Experiment, you know, get the gist with it. I know what you are thinking, Nopro. When is uh, Merit going to teach me about farming? Right now. Let's get our hands dirty and uh, play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and uh, construction material in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. Go get the materials in your storage shed, then construct uh, some soil soil beds on uh, your farm and plant one seed in each. Okay, your farm is perfect for growing all kinds of veggies. Try putting down some soil, planting some turnips, seeds and seeing how they grow. Okay, we are professional farmers. See, you will be, en you will be enjoying fresh Azorian product. You are going to be so self-sufficient. You can thank me later. I will thank you later. Alligator. Oh my gosh, there's a little packet with our food. Oh my gosh. It's gone. Adorable. I love it. Okay, uh, before we're gonna plant, I think we're gonna finish this episode. It is... Um, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be too, too long. I See, that's why I would like to stream it because I could just sit here for hours and just play it <laughs> I don't have to stop and record and then stop myself from playing because um yeah I feel like I'm gonna be sitting here for a while and just keep recording so yay I'm having fun uh, but for now 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.